Hello everybody, this is Leopold Kane, and I'm here with you today with a shell challenge for The Sims 4. This shell challenge was brought to you by a talented streamer named Lemon Jelly. You can find links to Lemon Jelly's content down below. Now for this challenge, we decided to take our uh, shell and build in the town of Winsburg in The Sims 4. Now because of the shell not being that big, what we decided to do is take this little quaint little corner right here next to the uh, waterfront as the place where we are going to build our shell at. Again, would like to give a shout out to Lemon Jelly for allowing us to have the opportunity to be a part of the Shell Challenge. This was our very first Shell Challenge we've ever been a part of, and we were very excited about being a part of it. So for this shell challenge, we kind of had an idea of what we wanted to build. Now the theme of the challenge is New Year's, but what we were thinking of is one of the things that our Sims do not have is a spa area. A nice little place to go and get pampered and get their nails done and kind of do yoga. So the idea came that what we'll do is we'll create a spot for our Sims to have, kind of do the resolution thing and have a new them, a new you with by creating them a spa here in the town of Wimberg. And so what we were trying to do here was trying to get it set up where we could have a porch. One of the things that the rules said that was could add like porches and things like that, but the only thing we could not do is add uh, walls to the build. So the shell is what it is, the building that we have is what it is, but I believe the rules said we could add things like porches and stuff like that. So what we're trying to do is kind of try to make a very welcoming uh, opening to the place. Now after deciding what we were going to do with our porch, we decided to go inside to the building a little bit. With this first area, uh, we wanted to make sure our lobby was kind of looking nice and was large. So that's the reason why this area is squared off the way it is. Now because of the shell being two stories, what we wanted to do here is create a stair path upstairs in this little weird uh, triangle corner and all that. Now stairs are one of the harder things to work with in The Sims 4 for me, uh, but we've learned thanks to TikTok and other creators how to kind of work around them and how to do a couple of tricks with them.
if you notice, we were kind of struggling with the second floor there. Uh, one of the things that we don't know how to do really well is how to remove uh, certain tiles, floor tiles from this, like different floors. Uh, because at the end of the day, I do not like it when I have stairs and you have uh, no opening above the stair rail and all that. Uh, so we were struggling just a little bit there. Now we moved on to placing windows throughout the house. Now we used uh, smaller windows around where that stair area is because uh, bigger windows just didn't make sense to us during the time of the build. Uh, but also we use a lot of times in our builds uh, big bay windows to allow more natural light into the rooms, into uh, where we're building at, hopefully. Now, whenever we try to do a build, we do try to do a little bit of realism to our builds. Uh, one of the things that we got into a habit of doing, especially after we got the laundry pack, was making a laundry room for businesses that do laundry and all that. Uh, for example, a spa would go through a lot of towels during the course of a work week. Now, this is the part where we were trying to figure out where we were going to put uh, different spa related items like where we we're going to place the locker room where we we're going to place the uh, maybe massage table where we we're going to place maybe where they're going to do uh, their nails at and try to figure out um, exactly how the logistics of having these multiple places are at uh, even though we created the bathroom already and also had a place for our laundry we hadn't really gotten to a point where we were trying to figure out where we were going to put the other amenities that are needed for the build. This is the part where we decided uh, where the uh, locker room was going to be located at. Uh, we decided to make it downstairs because it made more sense that when you checked into with a receptionist, you would go from there and go into the locker room and go get ready and then go upstairs or go outside or go to the other spots where they were going to have the other amenities for the spa located at. Now this is where we uh, began working on the upstairs area. Uh, it's always a struggle for me to work on smaller areas, so trying to find the right doors and right windows, won't lie, were kind of a struggle. And also adding on to the uh, balcony uh, was also one of those nice little perks that I did that uh, hopefully counts falls into the category of adding a porch to the area and uh, counts as us still staying within the rules of the uh, challenge. Now, roofing is a struggle for me. I always have uh, troubles with trying to get just the right angles and the right 
correct roofs, especially with odd shapes like that. I believe it's an hexagon there where that door is on the roof. And so what we decided to do with is try to do one trick that we learned from TikTok while we were trying to build a roof. And that was try to make a, uh, what was it, a glass dome roof, which you'll find out later what happened about. Now this is where we try to use uh, a trick that we learned from TikTok where we try to make a glass roof. Um, unfortunately for us, it did not go according to plan, but we did have a happy little mistake come out of it. And this is a part of that little happy mistake that we were talking about. When we were doing our build and we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do there with our roof, we started adding accessories to the roof and we found that little chimney that should be popping up in just a second. Now, that chimney made us have the decision that adding a fireplace to our spa would make it look a little bit better and look a little bit more fancier than any other normal spa that we could make. Now, continuing with the whole Bob Ross theme of happy little mistakes, with the uh, exterior of the building, we didn't really understand what we were going to do with it or how we were going to paint it. But we did realize that we wanted to keep up with the theme of Winsburg and keep where the uh, building just least matched what a lot of the other buildings looked around the area, uh, feeling like it looked like older houses and things like that in a certain era keep the small village theme going for our hopefully modern spa. And now this is the part where we get into the fun part of the build where we start decorating inside with the lighting. Uh, we were trying to go for a gold and silver blend of the different rooms. But unfortunately for us, we uh, you'll, you'll see later on when we get down to painting the interior walls that we did not stay with the concept of gold and silver. Thank you. 
and that finishes up our receptionist area for this part of the build. Uh, we felt like the color scheme was pretty nice and all that. We did notice a couple of things that were off, so we went back later on and fixed them and adjusted them. Uh, some things we deleted by accident and had to re-add back on later on. Uh, one of the things that took us so long with the receptionist area was we were trying to add a retail uh, kiosk to it, and then we realized it would not fit. Now, we did do a little time skip right there. Uh, we didn't think anybody would be really interested in how we painted the hallways or did the bathrooms. So we jumped ahead here in the video where we're now working on the, the like, like, like I said, one of the, I feel like the main parts of the spa is the locker room area. Uh, we had our shower put in earlier and also some of our lockers. Uh, we went with, uh, again, blues and things like that and it went with multicolors in this room. Another thing that I really enjoy about playing The Sims is just doing the small things like clutter, like you guys notice here with the uh, adding of like makeup and also uh, fingernail stuff and other little small accessories. Just makes the place feel like it's more alive and makes it more feel like it's living. And this is where we again talk about little happy mistakes within this build. Uh, when we were trying to figure out a place for this fridge rail, we just could not figure out a good spot for it. But then when we put it here and then put a table on top of it and added one more accessory to it, we feel like it really made the area feel like it was a little own little work area and all that. Hopefully the Sims will still be able to interact with the fridge when they come here, but uh, we'll, we'll find out later on in the build. Now we're finally working on the inside the massage room. Uh, we wanted kind of some of the uh, same things that we used outside the spa room to be inside here as well. Uh, if you notice, we put some stuff underneath the table to kind of make uh, space, but also try to hide some stuff as well, just for little jokes in the background and all that for our spa and for what might be going on there that people might may or may not notice. Now, since the inside of the spa is, to me, completed, uh, it's now time to start working on the outside of it. Well, now, what we wanted to do was make sure our, we stayed with the idea of that the building was a little bit older, and along with uh, the other surrounding buildings, so that's the reason why we went with uh, what looked like, to me, an uh, older-looking type of wood for the porch. And this is why we also went with a stone fence around the building as well. Uh, one of the things I think we noticed off of another house that was built in the area is that they had a stone 
fence around it. So we thought, well, why not stay with that idea and have the back of the yard uh, be its own little area as well for the spa. Now during the part of uh, building the outside garden, we took a really a uh, lot of advantage of uh, BB move objects by you know overgrown bushes and things like that. We were thinking at one time making the whole area a big giant hedge and maybe getting rid of the uh, stone uh, fencing, but we did later on decide to keep most of it and all that stuff and just kind of block off just one giant area of the uh, backyard. Now, if you notice there, we did do another time jump in the uh, uh, video. Uh, the reason why we did that is because a lot of times when we do do a build and we do do a nice garden, uh, we take the time to spread great grass, we plant a lot of plants, and it just really just kills uh, the time. Uh, that's the reason why we end up with the time that we do on this build. Now, if you notice, in the backyard, we did add uh, the uh, yoga mats. Also, we added a place for meditation. I believe later on, we move around where we have our meditation located at and adjust some of our lighting outside. But all in all, we're happy that we have the uh, inside spa area, and we feel like that the town of Winburg, the way it looks on the outside, and us being close to the lake, being able to do things like yoga and meditation outside would be really beneficial for our Sims. And this is where we begin doing our little bit of touching up that we have left on the uh, build we are going on. Adding a few uh, small items here and there, I feel like makes uh, the uh, building or the house that you're building uh, feel a little bit more realistic. And I feel it's safe to say that uh, the whole build took about five hours to complete from start to finish. Now our time might be off by a little bit because we did get up and leave and forget to uh, turn off our timer. And that's it for the build, guys. Uh, this is just us hitting the day-night cycle, uh, just trying to look at the building, see how it looks uh, during different times, and kind of give a little overview of what the building looks like. Uh, we have our reception area down. We have our spa area taken care of. We have our locker room. We have little areas outside for our sims to meditate as well. Uh, and we added a little, a couple other things to it where you can go outside and paint the lake and paint the landscape if you wanted to. Uh, place downstairs to relax to do some chess. And in all in all, we were very proud of this build. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, please comment, like, and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching this video.